Celtic world has more than its share of the supernatural, legends, and myth, which sometimes cross the line into reality. I tell those tales here on Dark Celtic History. <laughs> the Green Lady of Crathus Castle. Crathus Castle in Bankhardy is home to many spooky tales including the Green Lady, named after the spirit of a young woman who has often been seen by the fireplace wearing a green dress and cradling an infant in her arms. Queen Victoria is counted among the visitors to the castle who have witnessed her, but her true identity remains shrouded in mystery. Some say that she is an apparition of a servant girl who fell pregnant out of wedlock and fled the castle never to be seen again. She even has a room named after her, and when, in the 1800s, the castle was renovated, but a grisly discovery was unearthed. It tells a far sinister story. It is said that beneath the hearthstone of the fireplace, workmen uncovered the skeletal remains of a woman and child, presumed murder due to the carelessness of their burial. Now, were these unfortunate souls the victims of foul play? Who knows? The truth behind their fate will never really be known. Now, she may not have been sighted in many years, but one thing is certain, an unspeakable sense of dread is felt by all who dare to step foot in the room of the Green Lady. Her presence endures today, and a frightful young visitor came screaming in the middle of the night to tell a horrifying tale to her relatives who had gathered after hearing the blood-curdling screams. After an hour of incoherent babbling from the frightened young lady, and in, I'm sure, some coaxing invited by some brandy or whiskey, the young lady told all those worried faces staring down at her the grisly tale. She awoke suddenly when a great force came upon her and held her down on, onto the bed. She feared she would be raped or worse because she couldn't tell what was going on. Then the invisible phantom came into sight. The green lady held her down and floating just above her relayed the details of her demise. It seems an evil old laird of this castle hundreds of years ago had killed her family as they traveled in the area. She was taken to the castle and held there. God only knows what for. This old laird was so mesmerized with her beauty he wanted it all for himself. Having never married and being angry no one loved him, he decided to take a woman as his wife. But you cannot force love upon anyone and her refusal to even touch him only sent him into a bigger rage. A rage that would end up with her being raped and eventually giving birth to a baby girl. But the baby not being a son, well, a son that would carry on his name, enraged him even further. In a fit of drunken rage one night, he burst into her room and killed them both. The next day, a group of men came looking for a family that had gone missing in the area almost a year ago prior. He turned them away, but they vowed to come back and get the answers they wanted. Now, he knew the truth would come out, and being too old to fight, he chose to take his own life. He threw a rope over a beam, made a noose, and stood on a chair. But he stood there for hours, not being able to gather the courage that he needed to do the deed. And just as he had decided to give up this foolishness, the green lady with the babe in one arm appeared before him and with the wave of her hand, whisked away the chair and watched as the life drained out of the old evil laird. The group returned to find him the next day hung and assumed that he had known something, but that, of course, his secret would die with him forever. They abandoned their search, leaving the green lady and her babe the new caretakers of the castle. 